Hey, hey, Brian, Brian, how would you like to build build a deck right now with your buddy? Because we got hammers, the whole deal. I don't know, man. It's pretty dark out. That's okay. I'll just pull my car around and point the headlights at it. Do you know that my dad once called me a mistake? That's messed up, man. Wow. You know, Brian, hanging out with you this past week has been awesome. Yeah, why don't we why don't we do this anymore? We 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 used to do fun stuff all the time. You know, it used to be you and me. And it always will be, pal. Hey, listen, listen. I want you to be Meg's godfather. No thanks, Peter, but this here, we gotta keep this going. I agree, buddy. I agree. All right, I'm gonna go bath down the garbage disposal. Ryan, I think we can get John Mayer to stop tweeting again, but we all gotta work together. Oh my god, are you drunk again? Yeah, I was just hanging out with my main man, Peter. Main man? Hanging out? Brian, he's only using you to buy alcohol. What? What is, what is that? What are, you, what are you talking about? It hasn't dawned on you that he only started spending time with you when the drinking age was raised? Come on, that's, that's not true. <laughs> ah, shoot, I puked in the clean dishes shed. Trust me, as soon as you're no longer of use to him, he'll be done with you. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, you're, you're jealous because I'm spending all my time with Peter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, where's my dumb, morbidly obese friend? Hey, Stewie, get in here. I'm being an 80s computer hacker. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. And we are in. All right, I better go. I gotta go tell him this isn't a game, ma'am. Brian, do you have any idea why Peter was trying to climb in the dishwasher? I thought it was his Tokyo apartment. Sorry, Lois. We, I, we, I guess we had a little too much to drink. To drink? It's against the law for him to do that. Was Stewie in here? Was, was he in here? I, I smell his cologne. Listen to me, Brian. No more booze in this house. You're going to get us all in trouble. Peter, we, maybe we should find someplace else to, get, to drink. Yeah, I think you're right. Hi. We're here from the 80s FBI. Somebody here with a 2400 baud modem almost started World War III. Oh, sounds like they're making an escape. Hey, you want to see me run up that slide? Sure. <laughs> Ow, damn it! I think my belt buckle cut my gut. Hey, Peter, can I ask you something? You're not just hanging out with me because I, I can buy you alcohol, right? What? Of course not. We're friends. Yeah, no, I, I know. That's 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 what I thought. And also, you bring me dead birds. I know Lois gets mad about it, but I like using them to point at things. Hey, did they move the bagels? Yeah, they're right there. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? This? This is a pointing bird. All right, I just saw a sprinkler come on, so I'm going to go bite at the water a little bit. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, some butthorns shining a flashlight on me? I meant prior to me coming up and investigating this. Oh, well, you got to be clearer, man. I'm wasting. Sir, I'm going to need to see some ID. You look underage. Just as I suspected, you're a minor. It ain't my fault. Somebody's been buying it for me and all my friends. Oh, is that right? Well, you better tell me who that is or you're in a lot of trouble. Hey, is this the park where Boner died? Wait, wh what's going on? That's him, officer. That's who's been buying us the booze. What? You get home, son. You're lucky I'm letting you off of the warning. But you, you're coming with me. You gotta be kidding! Do you need a ride? Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here until the sun comes up and then be the best at tetherball. <laughs> Next! What are you in for? I bought some alcohol for someone I thought was my friend. How about you? I threw a bottle of rum through the window of the Apple Store. I couldn't remember me password. <sighs> well, this sucks. Oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes they let you take the good trash home if you ask nice. Last week I got an old greeting card. It obviously wasn't for me, but imagination's a hell of a thing. Hey, Brian, what time you get off? Me and the guys were hoping you could buy us some more beer. You can't be serious. Yeah, it's a little bit serious. Yeah, I haven't been drunk in a day, and I'm not feeling particularly handsome. Peter, you're the reason I'm here. You totally sold me out to that cop. Oh, are we just going to play the blame game? Because I got another game I'd rather play. Boggle. Go to hell. You used me. That's not what friends do. It's what Adam Sandler's friends do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a half a can of hot beer left in this open container I've been driving around with. <laughs> you too, pig. Well, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I can always look back on my life and say I went for it.
Ugh, this seems like a weird place to even use a condom. Just shut up, Peter. I'm done with you. All right, you completely lied about why you were hanging out with me. What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. Oh, my God! My husband's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? I have a 13-inch penis. <laughs> Besides, I'm sick of you acting like you're such a victim. You agreed to buy us booze because we weren't old enough. You're not old enough? You're a man in his 40s. This whole law is ridiculous. Hey, can one of you guys with elbows try to get this truck to honk? <laughs> ah, that and giving noogies is what I miss most about having elbows. You know, Brian, what you said is right. This law is stupid. I mean, if it weren't for that, we never would have been in this fight. Yeah, but what difference does it make? It's the law. Nothing we can do about it. Yeah, hell is not. I bet if we work together, we could find a way to change it back. I, I don't know, Peter. Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that. Me! I'm Thomas Edison. I invented the light bulb. Uh, what to do? It lights up a room using electrical... Lights up a room using electrical stuff. I was about to say that because I invented it. Uh, what are you working on? It's a phonograph. Phonograph! Right? I knew that because I invented it. I'm Thomas Edison. I rule! Look it up. Edison was a dick. Okay, Peter, I know how we can get the law changed. I've been doing some research, and it says here that in eight months we can get a non-binding proposition on the ballot as long as we get 4,000 signatures. Yeah, screw that. We're going with Plan B. Threaten to kill the mayor's nephew. I love you, Dad! Peter, that's your son. Shut up, Brian. He's hugging me! So, what exactly is your plan here? You'll see. Just follow my lead. Ooh, trick-or-treaters. Well, what do we have here? A cowboy and a princess? Uh, yippee ki -yay, Mr. Mayor. Oh, a western princess. All right, listen. We want that drinking law gone. And everybody knows the best way to get any law struck down is to get the gays angry about it. Bruce? Jeffrey? That's right, Mr. Mayor. I need my Prosecco. What are you talking about? You're 52. <gasps> you said you was 39. I was just trying to get you in bed. I thought we'd both be dead by now. Crap. Well, come on. you got to change that law. I mean, it's already ruined a friendship with one of the best guys I know. Adam? Who's at the door? Oh, hi, Brian. Hi, Peter. Wait a minute. Is that... is that wine? Yeah. Adam just poured me a little before dinner. Wow, you guys eat late. No, Peter, don't you see? Carol's underage, too. The mayor just broke his own law. Mm, that's a good point. I guess I'll just have to resign in scandal while leaving the law intact. Or you could just change the law. But it's a good law. No, it ain't. Look, don't you understand what drinking means to us working stiffs? It helps us forget about our day and tell our children we love them with a straight face. It allows gross uggos to boof each other's gross uggo parts. And it gives people the courage to sneak onto their mayor's property and blackmail him and eat all his ripe tomatoes. That was a croquet ball. Ah, then could you point me to the closest nighttime dentist? So listen, Mr. Mayor, what do you say about that law? Oh, all right, I'll repeal it. But only if you send me and Carol a copy of that picture. We don't have a lot of the two of us together. Brian, we did it. We got him to change the law. Just goes to show, if anybody wants a law changed, they should just go to their mayor's house. Hey, I, uh, I, I appreciate what you said there about our friendship. Well, to be honest, Brian, at first I did just want you to buy us beer. But then the, the more we were hanging out, I, I remembered how much fun we used to have together. I guess after all these years, I started taking you for granted. But you're still my best friend, even if I don't always act like it. I enjoyed hanging out with you, too. Thanks, Peter. Hey, on your way out, could you put this in my mailbox for the mailman? Uh, sure. Put the flag up? Of course, put the flag up. Jeez, mail much? Well, Peter, I'm just happy that you and Brian managed to get that law repealed and that you're finally friends again. Me too, Lois. Good to have my drinking buddy back. <laughs> Yay! Everybody's happy! I love this family! I draped that over him. He was just doing it out in the open. <laughs>